Now let us see the question number 36. Which of the following does not give oxygen on heating? This is a fact based question. If zinc chlorate is heated or any of the chlorate, zinc chlorate or potassium chlorate, when they decompose, they produce oxygen gas. Second option is potassium dichromate. Potassium dichromate is an oxide of chromium, heavy metal oxide. So, it also decomposes to produce oxygen gas. Third option is ammonium dichromate. Ammonium dichromate upon heating produces nitrogen gas. So, in this case oxygen gas will not be obtained. So, this is the correct option. Here answer of the question will be third option. Next question is question number 37. Let us see the next question, question number 37. Which of the following is a polar molecule? The polarity of molecule depends upon a structure and polarity of the bond. The first compound is SF4. This SF4 is having 4 bond pair and 1 lone pair. Hybridization of central atom is sp3d due to lone pair bond pair repulsion the actual structure of the molecule is seesaw structure this is the actual structure now we can see that this bond is polar bond this is also polar bond this is also polar bond and this is also polar bond there are four sf polar bond and resultant is not cancelled out so, this molecule is polar molecule, its dipole moment will be greater than 0. If it is SIF4, a structure of the compound is silicon tetrahedrally bonded to 4 fluorine atom. Here also there is 4 polar bond, but the actual structure of molecule is symmetrical structure, that is why bond polarity is cancelled and its dipole moment will be 0. The third option is given xenon tetrafluoride. This compound is a square planar compound. There is 4 polar bond and central atom is having 2 lone pair, but these polar bonds are lying opposite to each other due to which bond polarity is cancelled and the molecule becomes non-polar. The fourth option is BF3. In case of BF3, central atom is sp2 hybridized. This is having only three bond pair and these three bond pairs are arranged in trigonal planar arrangement. So, resultant of the dipole moment will be cancelled and this molecule is also a non-polar molecule. So, considering the structure, we can find that first option is correct option. So, here answer of the question should be 1. The next question is question number 38. Let us see the question number 38. The structure of isobutyl group is in an organic compound is. Here the structure of 4 alkyl groups are given. Isobutyl, it means there should be 4 carbon atom and second carbon atom must have a methyl group. So, a structure of the alkyl group should be like this. Now check the option, this one is secondary butyl group, this one is normal butyl group, this one is tertiary butyl group and here we can find out 1, 2, 3 carbon atom in a chain and second carbon atom is attached with a methyl group. So this is the structure of isobutyl group. Answer of this question will be 4. Next question is 30, question number 39. Now, let us see the question number 39. Which of the following is paramagnetic? A paramagnetic species must have unpaired electron and chances will be there if odd electron is present in the molecule. See the first option O2 negative. Oxygen atom is having 8 electron, another oxygen atom 8 electron. 
there is one unit negative charge so there is one more electron it means odd number of electrons are present so this molecular ion can be paramagnetic other options carbon 6 electron nitrogen 7 electron one unit negative charge one more electron so even number of electrons are present and this ion is diamagnetic if it is NO positive Nitrogen is having 7 electron, oxygen is 8 electron, 1 unit positive charge minus 1. So, again there is even number of electron. So, this ion is also diamagnetic. If it is carbon monoxide, carbon is having 6 electron while oxygen is having 8 electron total even number of electron. So, this species is also diamagnetic in nature. So, using this con concept we find that answer of the question is option 1. The next question is question number 40. The number of carbon atoms per unit cell of diamond unit cell is number of carbon atom in a diamond unit cell. The structure of diamond is diamond is similar to similar to the structure of zinc sulfide sulfide. So, if you can recall in the structure of zinc sulfide, sulfide ion forms the CCP lattice number of sulfide ion per unit cell 4 and 4 zinc ions are present in the alternate tetrahedral void. If all the ions of zinc sulfide are replaced by carbon atom then a structure becomes the structure of diamond. So, there should be 8 atom per unit cell. Here answer of the question will be option 1. The next question is question number 41. Let us see the question number 41. Xenon difluoride is isostructural with. In the structure of xenon difluoride, xenon is having 8 electron and 2 electrons are shared with fluorine. So, total number of electron at central atom is 10 in which 2 bond pair and 3 lone pairs are present. Now, any of the compound which is having same number of bond pair and same number of lone pair will be isostructural. Here the first compound is ICL2 negative. Central atom is iodine which is having 7 electron. Surrounding is 2 chlorine. 7 plus 2, 9 electron. There is one unit negative charge. So, total 10 electron. And here also iodine is surrounded by 2 chlorine atom. So, number of bond pair is 2 and number of lone pair will be 3. So, we may conclude that ICL2 negative is isostructural with xenon difluoride and answer of this question will be 1. The next question, question number 42, a reaction having equal energies of activation for forward and reverse reaction has. Suppose a reaction is given is reactant and this is product. If reactant is converted into product crossing the energy barrier, if both of them are present at the same energy level, then activation energy for forward reaction and backward reaction will become same. For such type of reaction, enthalpy change will be 0. So, correct answer is 2. Answer should be option if reaction is feasible reaction, we cannot say that delta G will be 0. So, other options are incorrect options. Next question is question number 43. Now, let us see the question number 43. Dipole 
induced dipole interactions are present in which of the following pair? Dipole, it means one of the molecules should be polar molecule. Induced dipole, the other molecule should be non-polar molecule. So, solve the question, we have to check the pair containing one polar and one non-polar molecule. The first option is chlorine and CCl4, both the molecules are non-polar molecule. In the second option, HCl and helium atom, HCl is a polar molecule while helium atom it means non-polar molecule. So, probability is the induced dipole and dipole interaction will be present in HCl and helium atom. The third option SiF4 and helium atom, this is non-polar, this is also non-polar. Fourth option H2O and alcohol, alcohol is polar and H2O is also polar. So, correct option is second option, answer of this question should be 2. Next question is question number 44. Let us see the question number 44. A button cell used in watches functions as following. Zinc solid plus Ag2O plus H2O, 2Ag plus zinc ion plus 2OH negative ion. Half cell potential of zinc ion and silver electrode is given. We have to find the cell potential. In order to find cell potential, we must know which electrode is acting as anode and which one is acting as cathode. So, see the equation, oxidation state of zinc is 0, here oxidation state of silver is plus 1, oxygen minus 2, hydrogen plus 1, oxygen minus 2. This is Ag solid oxidation state plus 0. And in zinc 2 positive, oxidation state is plus 2, oxygen minus 2, hydrogen plus 1. So, by the help of oxidation number, we can find out that zinc is undergoing oxidation. It means zinc electrode is acting as anode. So, here I am writing anode is zinc electrode. The oxidation state of silver is decreasing from plus 1 to 0. So, here silver electrode is acting as cathode. If we have to calculate EMF, then EMF or cell potential of this cell is E naught cathode minus E naught anode. Here cathode is silver electrode and its electrode potential is given 0.34 volt minus negative electrode potential of anode, here reduction potential of anode is given minus 0.76 volt. So, answer becomes 0.34 plus 0.76 volt, this is equal to 1.10 volt. It means the fourth option is correct option and answer of this question should be 4. The next and last question is question number 45. Now, let us see the last question, question number 45. Nitrobenzene on reaction with concentrated nitric acid sulfuric acid mixture at 80 to 100 degree centigrade forms which one of the following product. So, here the given reaction is nitrobenzene if treated with a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and sulfuric acid. This mixture is known as nitrating mixture and this is used to generate electrophile nitronium ion. So, here in this reaction nitronium ion will attack at the benzene ring. Since nitro group is deactivating group, and these deactivating groups are meta directing group. So, this electrophile will attack at the meta position forming this product. This product is 1,3,1,3 dinitrobenzene. 
So, answer should be 1, 3 dinitrobenzene. It means option 1 is the correct option. And answer of this question is first option. So, these are all about the discussion of the today's paper. Thank you.